Okay. What's your advice for stealing your people's... Really? What's your advice for people stealing your work on Pinterest? Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. This was asked by a stationary designer. So I thought this is a really good question because we all have those fears. Me, I have those fears with my designs because I don't trademark them or whatever. So I have that fear. Oh, thank you. I have that fear of what if somebody takes this and then they go make stickers or something and I have no idea. Listen, it's inevitable. Somebody's gonna steal your shit at all times. No matter what we do, nothing in this world is new anymore. So you, even though you're coming up with something, it's a spinoff of something else or you've seen it somewhere, you take inspiration from other people and design and that's okay. You know what I mean? Pins are gonna get stolen on Pinterest. That's just an, a whole other topic. When you post your content on Pinterest, I'm sorry, but it, yeah, it could get stolen. I am like a spokesperson for Alibaba. Like they took my old pins when I did, when I had my boutique, I would do pins of outfits and they would steal my pictures and put me as the face for Alibaba on Pinterest. So there's nothing really you can do. I mean, you can report it and do all that shit, but realistically, you're not going to be able to find all of them. So don't get too caught up on it because you know what? Put it out there because if one of your people can find it customer can find it just scrolling through and you know what don't let fear control that because people can steal your shit on instagram they can steal it off your website if you think about it you're only putting that fear out there so don't do that change your vibes go into positivity and say you know what i'm putting my shit out there because i want my customer to see it and i want my customer to find it and hopefully they get value from it so don't really you know go into this too hard because you know it's just it's gonna happen pinterest is shady sometimes it just is okay what is your favorite app for social media? Oh, Lightroom. Lightroom all the way because you can take a picture that looks like this normal and you can go ahead and put a little flare on it and all of a sudden it looks super fly. So Lightroom for sure, it's free, buy a preset. And then I also like Mojo. That one is the one that I use for Instagram stories. I don't use it for feed posts, but I do use it for my Instagram stories. So Instagram stories, I put it, um, you can do text, you can do the animation, you can do, literally they have all the things. That is the one app that I recommend actually paying for because it unlocks all of the templates and then you also get access to all the fonts and all of that stuff. So when you don't pay for the, for the, like the, when you have the free version, you're kind of limited when it comes to Mojo, but it's a free app, M-O-J-O. -O. It's great for text, fonts, and it's quick. It's on your phone. You don't have to go to Canva or anything. So that one's really good that I love. Um, so that's the only one. I have a little bit of a, a, not a rant, but like I had a DM come across that was a really rude question. So it, I'm gonna clean it up because the way she approached it, it hurt bad. It was probably the most rudest DM I think I've ever probably gotten in my life, I think. And I cleaned it up because y'all, we don't even know that neg negativity, but it was pretty much like, bitch, what can you do for me? What is your boss babe shirt club? Why is it the cost $45? Why should I trust you? The whole shebang, all right? So I went in and I'm thinking and I'm like, one, I didn't respond because no, I don't need that negativity in my life. Um, and so I, it got me thinking, what is the boss babe shirt club, right? I'm like, okay, all right, I challenge you. Think about it. Don't listen to me through what I say because that doesn't mean anything. Go through my actions. What you see in my actions is my content. When I post on Instagram, I give you everything. When I go live, I do this every week because I love it, I give you everything. I go on Pinterest, I share everything I know to give it to you. I educate myself every day. I put myself in uncomfortable situations every damn day. Do you think I'm not terrified to go on podcasts? Do you think I'm not terrified to start my own podcast? You think I'm not terrified starting reels? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I wasn't on TikTok. I don't fucking know that shit. You know what I mean? But I do it so that I have the knowledge to share it with all my girls in the club. I take that very, very, very to heart. I make sure that I am constantly on the curve. I am ahead of the game on everything. If there is something going on, I'm going to know about it because I know that my girls in the club can benefit from it. I don't do it for me. I do it for them because if they come to me and say, hey, Renee, I want to do reels. 
What if I said, I don't know, I haven't done them yet. How do I freaking, how do I provide value? I don't. So you know what I did? I got on a Zoom call and all of us hopped on and we did a brainstorm for reels. I brought on my friend Lexi, who's a part of the club. She comes in, she's like, hey, I've been doing TikTok for a freaking year, she's crushing it. She's like, this is what I use, and this is what I do. That's what the Boss Babe Shirt Club is. It is giving value. Is it for everybody? No, it's not for that girl, I can tell you that for damn sure. It is not a place where you're gonna come in and you're just gonna, we're gonna do the work for you, we're gonna motivate the shit out of you, we're not gonna really do anything besides, you know, raw, raw, you got this. No, we're tactical. We're gonna give you the tools. I bring in experts because I don't know everything. I bring in experts that can help you. I brought in Natasha who I'm struggling with sales because I get uncomfortable talking about that stuff. I brought her in to teach the girls so that they can feel that because I know they're struggling with it too. I'm in the weeds with y'all. I get this shit, it's hard. I'm not coming from a place of, hey, I did it already. I'm coming from a place of learning, from a place of growth from a place of uncomfortableness so that I can share with you. So I brought in Natasha and she was like, hey girl, hey, this is how you sell, this is how you do it with heart, not hustle, all of this stuff. And I was like, this is valuable shit, right? Like, I love this. Do you, did you eat glitter for breakfast? Maybe, I think I did. But I'm just like, it hurt my heart so much because I'm like, the club isn't just a shirt. It's not a network that you can sell to. It's literally a group of freaking badasses that are like, hey, we see you. This shit is hard and we get it and we're here to help you. So if you don't find value in that, then don't join my club. It's that simple. I'm not begging you. I'm not asking you. But if you are somebody that is showing up every day in your business and you're like, dude, this shit is freaking hard. I'm exhausted. I feel alone. I just want to learn and get better. And I want to do this because it makes me happy. And you want a cute ass shirt? Then you know what? Come on in. Come on in. But if you're going to be negative and be like, well, what are you going to do for me? No, it's what are you going to do for yourself? I'm going to give you all the tools. I work my ass off to give you all the tools to get where you need to go. But I'm not going to do it for you. I'm not going to hold your hand. You got to do it. And the girls in the club are doing it. All of them are on Pinterest. They're crushing it. And you know what? They did the work, not me. I learned it. I taught it. I shared it. And you know what? It's up to them to do it. I'm not going to do it for you. I'm not a babysitter. I am your friend. And I am going to do my best to always provide value. Always. Whether it's on my lives. Whether it's in the club. Whether it's on Pinterest. Whether it's on my Instagram. I don't care. That is my mission. Is to share what I'm learning so that you can take it and you can utilize it in your business. So don't come at me. Sorry. That totally pissed me off. I was like, what can I do for you? And why are you being so rude? She was so mean. I was like, I'm sorry. I never asked you to join. I'm not this like, I'm putting my leg up. I don't know why. I'm all feisty. Like, why is this? This is my power stance. I'm like, <laughs> I need to simmer down. But you know, that's okay. Does anybody have any questions? Because I'm obviously hot. I need to drink a coffee. I'm on a rant. You know, it just, it hurt my feelings. Because I'm like, I'm not like that. I If you know me, I mean, y'all, you follow me, you know, like, I enjoy sharing everything I know. I don't hold anything back. Whatever I know, I give it to you. And I just feel like, oh, that hurt my feelings. But it's fine. We're all good. We're all good, you know? It's totally fine. <laughs> but anyways, I want to actually all get off subject. Oh, I'm throwing this leg up now. I don't even know I'm doing it. I'm just like power stance. Get on reels, my friends. I know I said this last week. So if you go to my feed, you can see I have not done a like regular post. It's only been video and reels because think about it. Nobody's freaking engaging right now. Everybody is watching video just scrolling on by because everybody's so busy. Get on reels. My engagement is huge from reels. Get on it. What you can do, what Lexi taught us is if you search hashtags, so I do, let's say small business tips. I search that hashtag, my reel came up first. So reels, when you search hashtags, come up first. So if you are in a niche and you're like, say you do workouts, booty band workout, whatever the hashtag would be for that, do a video of you getting all super fly, you know, doing it, you're gonna come up first. Reels are preferred over everything right now. Get on reels. They don't have to be hard. They can be easy, but I'm telling you, I have not done a post, I would say two weeks now, because 
reels are taking over. So I'm constantly thinking, okay, how can I provide value? How can I have fun? How can I do this? And guess what? I have met some super cool people on reels now because I'm searching those hashtags. Type it, hashtag small business tips. Then I watched the reels and a girl did a challenge where you show your packaging. I was gonna share it with you guys and I freaking couldn't find it. I don't know how to save it yet. I found the reels and then it, it once it was done, it kept going. So um, I don't know how to save them, but save the reels that you like. But this girl did a packaging one where she was like, she clipped together a bunch of different business owners packaging and they put where they got it. So they would grab, let's say like this little guy and it was like, Amazon and then they put Amazon how much it is then she went to another chick that was like paper mart and like this I'm like this is amazing think about it all those different packaging like you could have a stationery company you can have a booty band company you can have a candle company and all of them are showing their packaging hit me up let's do this if you have a different industry send me a video of your packaging let's make this happen I don't know how to do it but I'm gonna figure it out because that is so genius and you're helping people I saw it and I'm telling all of you, there's 14 people here right now. And I'm like, dude, this reel is this shit. I don't know her name. So make sure you put your name in there. But it was such a good idea. And you're sharing new content with other people and you're getting, getting to know people that don't follow you. Because when people are searching on reels, they're not followers. They're just people searching. So you're coming up and you're getting more exposure. So, oh, click on the three dots. Lexi, that's my homegirl right there. You need any type of reels shit get with Lexi. She is amazing. She has taught me so much stuff on reels. Um, so click on the three dots to save. Oh, there goes the leg again. Do the three dots on reels so you can save it. So now I know I can click those three dots and go find that damn packaging video. If any of you created the packaging video, hit me up. <laughs> oh, booty company. No band, whatever band company. My friend, um, owns Moveo. I think of booty, but booty bands, booty bands. That's why. <laughs> All right. I'm kind of rambling, but get on reels. It's amazing. Hit me up if you have any questions on the Boss Babe Shirt Club. Don't word it like homegirl did, but I'm happy to help. I will hop on a Zoom call with you. Let's see if we are a good fit. If you are nervous or something's holding you back from joining the club because you don't feel like you're, you're committed or whatever it is, whatever your holdup is, get on a call with me. Let's hash this out. Let's figure out how I can serve you, how I can help you, and how the girls can help you in the club. Because I guarantee you, you're gonna have a friend in there and you're gonna learn some sort of nugget. You get access to all the calls, you get access to me, you get access to the group. We have a Facebook group where you can ask any question you damn please and we will help you. So if you are caught up and you're like, mm, I don't know if I wanna join, I'm not really like sure if I'm a good, you know, good fit, if I'm gonna really use this, if it's for my business, then you know what? Hit me up, let's hop on a Zoom call. Let's see, because you know what? If you're not a good fit, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna say, hey, it's okay. You know, you're not ready for this. Or I'm gonna be like, girl, yes, get up in here and then let's get you popping. So 